Alcor is a vertically integrated graphite company. We mine graphite, we process it, we refine it. And we make four products out of that. We make anode powder for lithium ion batteries. We make micrographite that is sold mostly into the chemical industry. We make uh, graphite nanoplatelets, which are used in fillers and other applications. Our final one is graphene. It's a particular research program that we're working on, which is uh, 18 months long, is investigating graphene as a marine coating. We are looking at reduction of biofouling and we're looking at corrosion. We have just finished the first stage of that test work program. We have had encouraging results from phase one, which means we're now moving into phase two, which is six months of testing in the open ocean. Stay tuned for the results. Biofouling is the accumulation of microorganisms, plants, and algae. These growths cost the marine shipping industry more than $200 billion a year. The adhesion properties of these organisms allow them to form on ships, causing corrosion and increasing drag by up to 40%. Various methods have been employed to solve biofouling, including biocides and self-polishing surfaces. However, each one of these coatings methods has limitations ranging from toxicity to short service life. Graphene can solve these problems with minimal environmental impact both during production and in service. Some of the properties of graphene include its strength of up to 300 times that of steel, superb flexibility and compatibility, electrical conductivity, chemical resistance which provides corrosion protection, and its hydrophobic nature that prevents the surface adhesion of organisms. Hydrophobicity can be detected with contact angle. A flat-lying droplet indicates a low angle and a hydrophilic surface. The larger the angle, the more hydrophobic the surface. We are designing a graphene-based surface that uses hydrophobicity to create a space between the water and the surface that prevents attachment. In the first phase of this coatings project, we integrate graphene with other materials and compare its performance in high fouling areas with products currently on the market. Various coatings and graphene contents were tested in controlled situations to compare growth. The different colors indicate different products. The different shades indicate graphene content. These tests show the accumulation of growth and corrosion on the samples. Another property being investigated is de-icing. Notice ice forming on the non-coated surface. This impacts vessels operating in cold weather. When graphene is used, the water falls off, resulting in little ice formation. The ice, when it does form, comes off easily. This will minimize ice weight on the boat, thus maintain stability. The final results of these tests will be formulations that impart the characteristics of graphene to vessel coatings, resulting in performance improvements. The second phase of our coatings development will be the engineering of new graphene-based products integrating layered materials and composites that address other coatings problems. Stay tuned.